We're only a couple of weeks into the summer transfer window, but United have already been linked with about 20 plus players, as is the case every single summer. But who exactly are we likely to sign this year? What I'm going to do in this video is run through pretty much every player that United have already been linked with and give it a rating out of 10 as to how likely I think it is that United will complete that transfer. Now, quick note here, this isn't anything in the know. This is just me looking at information that's already out there for all of you as well and adding my own opinion as to whether I feel United will complete that transfer or not. Now, before we do get started, if you are new to United People's TV, get involved, subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit that notifications bell as well. If you're a regular, drop a like on the video. Come on, get involved. Let's get straight into it. First up on my list is Jaden Sancho. Now, Sancho, apparently United was his preferred destination. This summer, he was coming back to the Premier League. He was excited about the project. But I feel the fact that United have missed out on the Champions League will mean that we miss out on Jaden Sancho. He strikes me as someone who's so confident of his own ability at the moment that he wants to be playing at the top level. May only be 19, but he's shown in the Bundesliga with Dortmund this year just how good he is. So I'm going to put it down as a 6 out of 10. I think it would have been an 8 had United reached the Champions League, but we failed. And while I don't think that's going to stop us with every target, I feel it's going to stop us with Jaden Sancho. Next up is Kalidou Koulibaly, the 27-year-old powerhouse centre-back from Napoli, who's valued at over £100 million. Now, United need a centre-back, but Napoli don't need to sell. Koulibaly's not made any sort of noise towards the fact that he wants a move. So if United were to go in for Koulibaly, it would smash our transfer record for Pogba, smash our transfer record for a defender, and then some. And I just can't see United putting up that much money for Koulibaly. Which is why I would put him down as a 5 out of 10. It's not outside the realms of possibility, but I think there are other centre-back targets that we're linked with that we're more likely to sign, which we'll get into later on in the video. Next up is Bruno Fernandes, the 24-year-old goal-scoring midfield sensation from Sporting Lisbon. Now, I know a lot of you are big, big fans of Bruno Fernandes. And why wouldn't you be with how many goals he scored for Sporting Lisbon this year? But Man City have also been very heavily, more so linked than United for Bruno Fernandes. And if I'm Bruno Fernandes, I'm taking my red-tinted glasses off here and I've got two choices between United and City, which one am I going to right now? Fernandinho, you know, Bruno Fernandes is more of an attacking midfielder, but David Silva's leaving as well. You know, Man City need to rebuild a squad, which is already incredible. And that's why I'm putting Bruno Fernandes to United down as a 3 out of 10. I don't think it will happen. But fingers crossed, maybe something will come out. I just think he'd choose City. Now, next on my list is Aaron Wan-Bissaka from Crystal Palace. The 21-year-old clearly is one of United's top targets this summer. And it feels like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going towards this buying young, hungry, talented footballers to bring them back into United. The sort of United type of signing. And he's English as well. And I think that was the old school core of United. Whether we're going to go back down that road exactly, I'm not sure. But wan ticks a lot of boxes in a position we desperately need to sign somebody good. He's going to cost 50 plus million, but I think United really want wan -Bissaka. So I'm going to put him down as an 8 out of 10. The next name on the list, we've talked about plenty already, and that's Mateus De Ligt. I would love nothing more than to sign De Ligt from Ajax. As would any United fan, as would any fan... In the world, he's that good a prospect that anybody would want to sign him. But Barcelona desperately want him. They've already signed his teammate in Frankie de Jong and have been leading the race to sign him. We've covered all the details in the full stories on De Ligt United and all the twists and turns of that transfer saga. I am resigned to the fact that he probably won't join United. That's why I'm only giving him a 4 out of 10. But I'm not giving it a 0, just in case. Just on that off chance, that little bit of hope that's still there that we might sign De Ligt. I don't think we will. I think Barcelona are clear favourites and maybe PSG could come in as well. But I'm going to give him a four. Let me know what you think. Is that too generous? Do you think there's absolutely no chance of De Ligt signing? Let me know in the comments below. The next name on my list is Daniel James. And for me, he's probably likely to be Manchester United's first signing. Valued at only, what, 10 to 15 million, 21, young, pacey as hell. Plays on the Ryan Giggs and the Welsh team. There's just a lot of logic to this becoming our first signing. And the, the terrible news that Daniel James's father passed away has probably delayed anything. Absolutely, it should do as well. 
but I still feel that Daniel James will be United's first signing. I'm excited about it. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 that he's going to join United. It seems more likely now than unlikely. And I think he could be an excellent prospect. Someone who can actually add real pace to our right wing, which has desperately lacked it for years. I think he'd be a top signing. And he's 9 out of 10 for me. But do you think we're going to complete the signing of Dan James? Let me know in the comments as well. Now, Dan James' Welsh compatriot, Gareth Bale is someone we've also been linked with. The 29-year-old valued at, what, 50 million? Or you could get him on a loan deal just in case Real Madrid really want to get rid of him, which they clearly do. Zinedine Zidane, I don't think he fits in that team. Should United go for him? No. Do I think United will go for him? Potentially. And that's a bit scary because, you know, he strikes me as one of those Ed Woodward type signings that he'd love to get his hands on. And that's why I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. In that sense, I think it's more likely we're going to sign Bale than Delict, which is horrible. But if Ed Woodward hasn't learned his lessons, we're going to go in for Gareth Bale this summer. And that's a bit scary. But Gareth Bale, you know, he's got Champions League pedigree, doesn't he? Scored in a couple of finals. And this Saturday, you've got the Champions League final coming up between Liverpool and Spurs. Come on, Spurs. Do it for everybody. Over on 888 Sport, they're arguing as to which has been the biggest ever Champions League miracle. It is the miracle of Istanbul for a reason. Amazing achievement, what they did. That AC Milan side, granted, were fantastic. Let that not take away from the Bayern Munich side that we came up against. They were on for a treble that season as well. We managed to not only do it in those two minutes, score those two goals at the end of the game, which obviously always makes a game feel better when you win it right at the end, but for what it meant as well. How can it not be 99? coming from 1-0 down after 89 minutes to score two late goals to win it, to complete the treble, the only treble that's ever been won by an English club, the real treble, Premier League, Champions League and FA Cup, it's got to be 99. As much as Istanbul was incredible, and it was for Liverpool fans, it's all about 99, surely. What do you think? Head over to the 888 Sport video. There's a link in the description. Make sure you go over there and comment because it's got to be about 99, surely. But let's get straight back into this list. And next up is Adrian Rabio, the 24-year-old from PSG. is available on a free transfer this summer. So you would imagine that United would be all over it because we love doing that under the Glazers. If we can scrimp, we'll scrimp. And Ander Herrera's gone in the other direction. There's logic to it. But I don't think United are going in for him. Maybe it's his attitude problems that caused issues at PSG. There hasn't really been much noise about Rabio to United. Maybe we're keeping our cards close to our chest and I think it would be it would be a fantastic signing or a free very cheap and big upgrade on the midfield options we've already got in certain positions but I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10 I don't see United completing this one I hope I'm wrong but it seems like United are just ignoring the fact that Rabio is available on a free somebody who isn't free though is Wow Felix from Benfica the 19 year old is considered one of the best prospects to come out of Portuguese football since that man Cristiano Ronaldo now, if there's one thing that Portuguese clubs get right, it's the s sensational release clauses they put on players. And while Felix, at 19, has got a 120 million euro release clause, and that's why I'm giving it a 1 out of 10 chance of United signing him, because there's no way we're paying that much for a 19-year-old from the Portuguese league. Not right now. Maybe in a year when he's sort of progressed and improved, but not for that price at the moment. For me, no chance of this transfer happening. And I would say as well, Paulo Dybala is equally as unlikely. The 25-year-old from Juventus rated about 80 million plus. He's already on Bayern Munich's radar who are desperately needing new signings after the departures of Robin and Ribéry and their rebuilding. Seems like a Bayern Munich signing. But for United, I can't see us spending that much on an attacker when there's other areas that United need to strengthen more. And that's why I'm giving this one, just like Wow Felix, a 1 out of 10 chance. And moving on to the next one, Thomas Partey is next on my list. A 25-year-old Ghanaian midfielder from Atletico Madrid has a 50 million euros release clause. And I think this one's got a little bit more legs than, say, Adrian Rabiot. You know, clearly he would fit United's system. He's fit as hell, having played under Diego Simeone. And I'm going to do a full story on the party rumours, so make sure you check that out in the future. But for me, because of his release clause, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. I think there's a chance that could happen. More so than other signings, that's for sure. And certainly more so than Dybala and Wow Felix. But what about Partey's teammate, Antoine Griezmann? 
at 28, Griezmann is still technically in the prime of his career and he's leaving Atletico Madrid. Already been confirmed and Barcelona were considered the favourites to sign him. But with all the palaver going on, maybe Griezmann isn't going to Barca. But at 120 million, he'd be a ridiculously massive signing for United. But like Gareth Bale, I can't rule out the idea that Ed Woodward's going to be attracted by a potential marquee signing. I just fear that United's CEO hasn't learned from his mistakes, hasn't had the power taken away from him, and he's going to spend all summer going after stupidly big names rather than the players we need. And that's why I'm giving Griezmann a 5 out of 10. I hope it won't happen, but like Bale, if there's a chance United can sign a marquee player, can Woodward resist? I'm not sure. That's why I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. In the complete opposite sense, Sean Longstaff is apparently a target. The 21-year-old from Newcastle emerges as a surprise target, valued at around 10 to 15, 20 million. If United want to sign Longstaff, and some reports suggest that we do, and some reports suggest that we don't, depends who you read. But if we do want to sign him, United will get him. 15, 20 million Longstaff will move to Old Trafford. So that's why I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, but it all depends on whether Longstaff is a genuine target for United and Solskjaer, or whether it's just newspaper guff. But I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Let me know what you think about that one in the comments. And there are plenty of other midfielders we linked with as well, like Ivan Rakitic, apparently valued at about 50 million. That's a ridiculous amount for a player of his age. Yes, you know, what he got to the World Cup final with Croatia, he's won the Champions League with Barcelona, won the league with Barcelona. But 50 million for a player of that age, I can't see United going for it. That's why I'm going to give him a 2 out of 10. Unlike Tango at Ndombele, who from Lyon is considered one of the best midfield prospects in European football. The 22-year-old is on the radar of a lot of clubs. And I know, just like Bruno Fernandes, a load of you would love United to sign Ndombele. And Lyon will sell for the right price. They're that sort of club that will... Sell a player, replace with someone cheaper and just keep that going. That's, you know, it's, it's not a bad business model to have. And that's why I think there's a little bit of logic to it. So I'm going to give Undombele a 5 out of 10. Because United certainly need midfield signings in key areas. And Undombele is certainly a big, big prospect in that area. Just like Wilfred Ndidi is. The 22-year-old from Leicester had a, a, br a brilliant, brilliant season with Leicester. When he played against United, he was so much better than our midfielders. And again, there's real logic to this. I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10 and explain why. But United should be looking at the players that played well against us in the Premier League. First and foremost, you know, you scout on your own doorstep. You can't ignore how good Ndidi has been this season for Leicester. And at 22, like Ndombele, plenty of years ahead of him. Could be a massively good midfield signing and he's Premier League proven. That's a big, big bonus. And I think he'd actually be cheaper than Ndombele as well. Maybe 30, 40 million rather than the 50, 60 million, I think Leon will probably charge for Ndombele. But I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. I think either of those are as likely as the other. I probably prefer Ndidi out of the two, though. But while I think United might be able to complete a moves for Ndidi or Ndombele, I don't think Mauro Icardi is going to be coming anywhere near United. He's, what, 26? He's valued at, what, 70 million, if not more? And it's the attitude. If Solskjaer is trying to create this unified dressing room, which is clearly a problem at the club at the moment, bringing someone like Icardi in, it's like dropping a, taking a pin out of a grenade and just waiting for it to explode. So I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10 that United are going to sign Icardi. Even if Lukaku does go the opposite direction to Inter Milan, I don't think United will be going after Icardi. But maybe we'll go after Moussa Dembele from Lyon and Dembele's teammate. Dembele moved from Celtic, a clinical goal scorer, young, would be cheaper than certain options. And if we are to sign a Romelu Lukaku replacement, then Dembele would make quite a lot of sense. And as I said, he's only 22. He's clearly got plenty of years ahead of him. And I think he'd be a very exciting signing. So I can see logic to this one. And he is a cracking goal scorer. So I hope the Dembele rumours aren't just gossip. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 that this could happen. Because you could see the logic behind it. And Dembele, if United go in for him, Surely he want to move to Old Trafford as well. Now we're going to rewind a year and talk about Harry Maguire again. The 26-year-old from Leicester. He cost 50 million plus. But if United are looking for Premier League proven, ready leaders who are centre-backs, Harry Maguire has got to be on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's list. It would sum up how poorly run United is as a club that in one summer, Jose Mourinho 
can get vetoed for signing Maguire. And it was sort of like the start of the end for him at United. And then in the next summer, if we go and sign him, it would just sum up how poorly run we are. But Maguire would be a... I think he doesn't get enough praise for how good he is and how much he would improve United's defence. So I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I would maybe even push it to a 7, but I'm going to leave it as a 6 because I think United will probably go in for Maguire. But someone we absolutely won't be going in for is Maricardi's teammate, and that's Ivan Perisic. I'm giving this a straight 1 out of 10. Thankfully, the Perisic ship sailed. That's really quite hard to say. Sail with Jose Mourinho. He's an aged winger that we don't need. Focus on younger signings. That's what Solskjaer is doing. That's why I don't think we'll be signing anyone like Perisic. And we certainly won't be signing Raphael Varane. Varane, the World Cup winning, Champions League winning defender, is mustard. Absolute top draw. And if we were ever going to sign him, it was from, I think it was Lille. But he follows Zidane. And he won't leave Real Madrid with Zidane now. He's already said that. So I'm giving this a straight 0.1 out of 10. It's the worst rumour I've seen. As much as we'd all love Varane, it's not going to happen. Somebody who could happen is Ryan Sessegnon, the 19-year-old from Fulham, valued at around 20 million. You know, in the same vein as Aaron Wan-Bissaka is a young English talent that United could nurture, same goes for Sessegnon. And at 19, he's got over 100 senior appearances. He's going to leave Fulham, who have been relegated, and Spurs will be in for him. There'll be a couple of clubs in for him. But Sessegnon, I can give it a 7 out of 10, I think. I could see United going for him. I think it'd be a smart signing, relatively cheap, who could improve our squad options. Because this summer's not just all about the big names and big positions. We've got to improve the weaknesses overall. That's why I think Sessegnon would be a smart signing, and why I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. So there are two names left on the list now, and next up is Ruben Neves, the 22-year-old from Wolves, valued at about 50 million plus. You all know by now, he's my central midfield signing of choice. I think Neves would be a class, class signing. He was so good against United in every game we played against Wolves this season. But there hasn't been too much noise around Ruben Neves to United. It was a bit tentative towards the end of the season. There hasn't really been much coming out since. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 because I've got my Neves tinted specs on and I want us to sign him so badly. But maybe I think other midfielders are higher on Solskjaer's list than Neves is. But I'm still going to give this one a 6 simply because I want this one to happen. And lastly, Toby Alderweireld. The 30-year-old is available for £25 million. Very, very cheap for an established top draw leader who's a centre-back who's Premier League proven. All the same boxes that Harry Maguire would tick, but cheaper. And as we know, United and the Glazers, they prefer it cheaper. And I think that's the main reason why I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 that United will go in for Alderweireld. The price. If we were to sign Alderweireld and he didn't get injured, touch wood, he'd be an outstanding signing. But it would be, just be United's luck if we signed him and then he just got injured straight away. That's the risk you would take with signing Alderweireld. But I can see United going for him, simply because he's available for 25. There's no need for negotiations. It's part of his contract. He's Premier League proven. And he would, he'd be our leader in... At, He'd be our leader straight away. And I can see logic in that signing. That's why I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. So that is the full list there. Tons and tons of players. As you can see there, probably, I think we're going to be signing Dan James, Wan Bissaka. I think maybe we might go after Alder Vireld as well. Harry Maguire's high up on that list. But what do you think? You know, as I said at the start of this video, this isn't a sort of in the know, ah, uh, these are the players who are going to sign video. This is me just running through every single transfer rumour and giving it my own little rating out of 10 as to how likely I feel it is to be completed. And now I really want to know who's on your lists. So get down in the comments. Leave me your, maybe your three most likely signings. Not the three signings you want to happen. The three signings you think will happen. Most likely. Let me know in the comments below as always. If you have enjoyed the video, maybe we'll do more of these. So drop a like on it. Until next time though, take it easy.